Hello, welcome to Turntable Class with GB Audio. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a typical tone arm on this JVC turntable. And before we start adjusting the tone arm, we need to make sure that the cartridge is correctly aligned first. Uh, I can see visually that the screws don't look perfect, so I'm going to unscrew this locking ring remove the head shell and have a look and we, oh yes we can see with a closer look that the cartridge is not parallel with the head shell so that's going to need adjusted the ideal way to check for the cartridge alignment is with a gauge like this you just plug the head shell into it and now the stylus tip should line up with the end of the gauge uh, this one doesn't, it needs to be adjusted in position. So I'm going to do that now. So as well as straightening up the cartridge, we need to slide it forward a bit. So the stylus lines up. That's pretty good. If you don't have a gauge like this, you can just measure the distance from the collar to the stylus tip. It should be 51 millimeters. Now we can pop this back on if it's aligned correctly. It's important to have your tone arm set up with the correct tracking weight for the cartridge so that the stylus tracks in the groove of the record correctly. Uh, this is achieved and adjusted with using this counterweight at the back end of the arm. What usually happens if you turn it one way it moves forward and if you turn it the other way it moves back, obviously making it lighter to track. The first thing we need to do is find this little adjuster called anti-skating. We turn that round to the zero position. That takes the bias off the arm. Now we can take the arm off the rest and it's currently heavier at the cartridge end. And by adjusting the counterweight backwards, that's too much, we want to get it to a point of static balance. It's a very fine adjustment. There we go, so that's it, neutral now. Now that the arm has been balanced, we take the gauge here, which currently says 2.5, and we just turn this disc at the front to zero. So now it's balanced and set to zero. Then we turn the weight forward till we get to the desired tracking weight. In this case, we're going to 1.5 grams. And by turning the weight forwards, that puts a weight of 1.5 grams on the stylus tip onto the record. Now the anti-skate setting should be set the same. So for a 1.5 gram tracking weight, 1.5 anti-skate. The anti-skate control compensates for the natural bias of the arm to move towards the centre of the record. Now we can put a record on. And there we go, tracking correctly. If you found this tutorial useful, please subscribe to our channel down below and you might like to check out some of our other videos in this series. Thank you for watching.